This is a tutorial on how to use Google Slides to allow your students to drag and drop items into their own slide. As you can see, this is my first page. All of my students' names are on here. And what the students would do is come and click on their name. When they click on their name, it's going to take them to their very own slide. So when I created it, I just copied and pasted the slides, but then when I linked them, I made sure each student had their own slide and I put their name up on the top just so there was no confusion. Now from here, if we leave it in present mode, we're going to have a problem because if you, anywhere that you click automatically goes to the next screen and we don't want that. We want it to be where they can take these pitches and drag and drop them. So there's two ways that they can do this. They can hit escape and go into edit mode. And now all they have to do, they highlight what they want to drag and they move it over. <clears throat> the second way involves a really cool Google Chrome extension called Full Screen Interactive. And it basically does the exact same thing, except it allows them to be in full screen. They will still have to click to highlight the object, but with a little practice, it happens pretty easily. What's really neat about this is that you can actually view all of your students working at the same time. And the way that I do that is by going to view. And then you're going to click on grid view. And then I can see all of the slides happening at the same time. This is useful because you want to make sure that your students are a working and you can also see who's working on which slide because their name will highlight up as long as they have if, as long as they are signed into a Google Chrome account, which may or may not always happen. Now, of course, you don't have to do this first page like I did it. I just think it's fun and the kids really like it, but you could just label a page and then have them scroll through until they find theirs. I also put a little object on every page that takes them back to the beginning. 